Hello class of Broke Bitch University, I'm Amber, your professor, and today we're going to be discussing budgeting. I really should have put a sign up or something because now I'm pointing at nothing, but this was really just an excuse to use this sparkly pen. Ooh, so nice. What's up guys? It's Amber and welcome back to my channel. So today I might not be playing the boring professor But I am still going to play a teacher and today I'm going to show you all of my best tips and tricks for living life on a budget Because if there's one thing that I know how to do it's how to be broke and bougie. So here we go the official master class how to slay life on a budget <laughs> Uno. Coupons are your best friend. Coupons for whatever you want are literally everywhere. Google it. If there's something specific you want, type it in, see if there's a coupon. I guarantee you there is. Cheap clothes can be great clothes. It's all about how you style them. I actually owe my entire channel to how to make cheap clothes look expensive, but you guys, seriously, everything I said in this video five months ago still reigns true today. Lux fabrics, clothes that fit well, design your dupes are all things to make you look bougie on a budget. And in exciting news, one of my favorite online shops, boohoo.com, agreed to team up with me and sponsor this video. So here's a quick little fashion show to show you what I'm talking about. In general, designer inspired clothes on a budget slay the game. Like this Chanel looking bodysuit, so cute, 20 bucks. This adorable little Gucci inspired black and gold set, so cheap, I look like a million bucks for 10 bucks. Sparkly Kylie Jenner-esque jeans, again, $20. Slay the game in some adorable workout attire, so cute. Look at this little tennis set. I am ready to go to the polo matches and whatever the heck else I'm feeling like doing, which is probably nothing, going to the grocery store, but still. Not hard to slay when you follow the Instagram trends. Throw on some sequiny shoes because sequins always make you look fabulous. And there you have it, you are slaying. You can also slay the office game on a budget, my version of professional attire and some white shorts and a pink sequined blazer. Accessories like this little black and gold clutch is a great way to slay all the time. P.S. Since I know you guys are gonna ask, everything that I was wearing is linked in the video description below, and if you wanna grab any of it to twin with me, I have a coupon code for you. So 30% off the entire website using this little discount code right there. And finally, there's a quick little giveaway link down in there too to win a $500 summer wardrobe courtesy of Boohoo. So there you go, good luck. Now back to the video. Buy the generic version instead of the brand name. You're getting the same product for a much lower price. Like when you're in the grocery store and you're starving to death and there's Wheaties right there for five bucks, but there's also Bran Flakes right next to it for two dollars, get those instead. If you check the ingredients, you'll notice they're actually exactly the same. Learn to DIY. If you see something you want but can't afford it, make it yourself. If you spy something beautiful that you love, figure out a way to do it yourself. There's almost always a video on YouTube about how to do whatever it is that you might want to do for cheap, easy, and just as fabulous as the real thing. Find the digital revolution. Shop online. Literally everything you want is online. Much cheaper than in stores. Seriously though, online shopping has everything you ever wanted. Not to mention it's more unique than the stuff that you get in stores so you can be your own form of fashionista. Like, look at this, 30 bucks? Are you kidding? You would never find that anywhere else. Not to mention when you order stuff online, it's like Christmas when it comes. So fun. Check out local happy hours. Instead of going to dinner at 7 p.m., try going at five. You'd be amazed. You can get things for like half off. Check your imaginary watch when it hits happy hour. Go to dinner early. It's, it's also a little awkward to film when you're not actually eating anything and no one's talking to you, but who cares? I'm getting all the tasty treats that I want, all for a very cheap price. Buy your everyday random products that you need at the dollar store. They're the same and they're only a buck. The 99 cent store is a game changer. Holy oh my goodness, you can find anything you want in here. You can get batteries, cotton swabs, Tupperware, pens, pencils, gift wrap, whatever it is that you might need on an everyday basis, all for 99 cents. Find some budget saving apps. They're going to literally change your life. My two personal faves that I use all the time, Gas Buddy shows you the cheapest gas near you, and Retail Me Not, which shows you coupons for stores that you are near. Shout out to whoever made those apps. I owe you one. <laughs> Forget about department stores, check out the discount stores. Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. All your favorite brands are sitting in the discount shops just waiting for you to find them. We all know I love me a good discount store. Seriously, all the brand name things that you like are hiding in these stores for half the price of what you would get anywhere else. And they'll even show you on the tag how much you're saving. Like, look at this. Hairspray, usually $20, only $10.99. Stores like this just make my heart flutter. Whew, all right, anyways. If you see something on sale, buy it in bulk. For example, these protein shakes that I was talking about in my Get Ready With Me video, I love them. They were on sale the other day, so I literally ordered a bajillion of them. If it's something you know you're going to order again, you might as well get them when they're cheapest. Cheers to that. 
Don't forget, you're a queen, you're a star. Just because you don't have a million bucks doesn't mean like you can't feel like it. Looking like a million bucks is easy, girlfriend. Do your hair, do your makeup, feel fabulous like the queen that you are. Just like with anything else, if you're rocking million dollar confidence, you're gonna feel like a million bucks. Another great tip, if there's something you really want, buy it used. Like seriously, half the stuff that I own is used. Amazon or eBay are great places to check for used items because they're usually in nearly mint condition for less than a quarter of the original price. Who cares if someone's read this book before? I've got a Chanel book now for $10. Or don't buy it at all. Literally, the library is so cool. I recently discovered we had a library. It's amazing. You can literally get books and movies all for free. You can walk out of there with a million books for free. So fun. To keep yourself motivated, don't forget to treat yourself every once in a while. If there's something you've been eyeing for a long time, girl, save up and go get it. Reprioritize your spending. If you go to Starbucks and spend five bucks on a coffee every day, but there's a pair of earrings that you really, really want, take the week off of Starbucks and eat at home. Use all the money that you saved that you would have usually been spending on your coffee to put towards the splurge item. If there's something you still really want, get an extra side job to pick up some extra cash. Walk the neighbor's dogs. I don't have a dog, so I'm gonna pretend this stuffed animal is a dog. Try babysitting too. And again, I'm gonna pretend this is a child because I don't have any kids to be in this video on such short notice. So, anyways, point is, get an extra side job. Nothing like having a little extra cash for a little extra spending. Tip number whatever we're on, you would be amazed at how many fun things there are to do in your city that cost literally no money. The outdoors is free. You can go anywhere. I love walking around Rodeo Drive because it makes me feel bougie as hell, even though I'm not buying anything, but it's so fun. How beautiful. Not to mention you stay inspired looking at all the diamonds. Wow. Goals. Prancing around outside is free. Unless, of course, you decide to stop for ice cream like I did, in which case your total tab comes to three. <laughs> if you're lucky enough to be a student, always sign up for the student discounts. From movie theaters to restaurants to online shops, it's always worth a shot to test your student discount. For some reason, mine doesn't expire till 2018, even though I graduated three years ago. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> All that stuff you have that you never wear, sell it to buy some new stuff. You'd be amazed at how much people will pay for your old things. Like they always say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Not to mention, you'll have new cash to buy what you wanna buy. Did you fall in love with a designer item and you just can't afford to foot the bill? find a dupe. Nothing is worse than falling in love with something that costs more than your rent for a year. So Google it, watch some videos. I guarantee you there's a dupe of whatever it is you want online. By stealing the designer fashions, you can look just as good as the runway for 20 bucks. <laughs> Another great tip, pay attention to stores social media. Stores are always posting all the info for their sales. So if you pay attention to stores social media, you'll always know where to get the latest deals. Or even bloggers and YouTubers like me. YouTubers and bloggers are always posting dupes to all sorts of fun things. Plus, they always have oodles of discount codes that are good all year round for just about anything you ever wanted. When it comes to doing bougie things on a budget, having friends is your best friend. That didn't make a lot of sense, but let me explain. Forget a limo, get picked up in a Bentley. When you're splitting it with 10 people, everything's gonna be cheaper. Side note, the fact that I decided I wanted to film a luxury vehicle for this part and only had to walk two feet before I ran into a Bentley, <sighs> that's a life for ya. By the way, I do have friends. You guys never believe me when I say I have friends because I'm always alone, but I have friends. This is my roommate, Selena. Hi. <laughs> and this is her boyfriend, Kai. What's so. up? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, point is, split things with your friends. It makes everything much cheaper. Goodbye, you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> if you're really pressed for cash, get the half size of things, or even just use samples. I know it's not necessarily actually economically sound because you're really getting less for what you're paying for, but if you really can't afford it but you still want the same thing, I am all for buying the half size. Also, hello samples! I haven't bought an eyeshadow primer in months because I've just been using this free sample from Sephora. Want the bougie experience of a spa without footing the bill? Instead of paying like 300 bucks for a massage, just get a day pass, you can get them on Groupon for like 20 bucks and ba-ding ba-doom! You may not be getting a massage, but you can still hang out in the saunas, you can hang out in the hot tub, it's super fun, great girls day, you can see on my Snapchat, me and my friends literally do this all the time because it's only like $16 to go in for the day. Super fun and you feel just as relaxed and cleansed as if you paid the big bucks. No matter what you're doing, always get the most bang for your buck, for example. Sephora gives you a free makeover if you buy $50 or more of products. So if you're gonna be doing that anyway, get the free makeover too. You might as well get the most bang for your buck. Same thing when it comes to beauty treatments. If you can do it at home, do it at home. Do your own nails, dye your own hair, super easy, and you save the cost of all the salon treatments. Fake it till you make it, my friends. 
Instead of a crystal chandelier, get an acrylic chandelier. Instead of real flowers, get a fake flower. It's all half the price with the same look. And that, my friends, is what it means to slay on a budget. P.S. you guys, before I sign off, don't forget the biggest and most important tip of all. Work hard, play harder. Don't give up. You're not going to be on a budget forever. Someday we'll all be living in castles and palaces, living our dream life. So keep a mood board. Remind yourself of your goals. There are lots of sparkly things waiting to be purchased. So keep at it, you guys. We'll all get there someday. But for now, we'll just keep slaying on the journey there. And with that, my friends, I complete the masterclass. So there you have it, you guys. My best tips for slaying life on a budget. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, Professor Amber will be at her desk uh, Monday through Friday, 24 hours a day, <laughs> answering snaps, comments, whatever. It's all at Amber Scholes. So hit me up on there. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for sharing your life with me. It truly is the joy of my life to make these videos for you guys. So um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more budget-friendly tips and life and whatever else I want to share with you guys. I love you. Kisses till next time. XO. <laughs>